Yo, what's good boys? It's your boy Vert, and I'm back to put you guys on with another dupe glitch. So everything that's on the screen right now is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a bunker, an MLC with the personal vehicle slot in Bay 3, a clubhouse with a bike shop, a Future Shock AC, which is the car you're gonna be duping, or you can use any car, but the Future Shock AC will give you the most amount of money, a CEO vehicle, and custom plates. And if you don't know how to get custom plates, look in the description of this video and you can see how to get custom plates. I made another video for that, so go ahead and check that out. So for the bunker and clubhouse, you can buy the Polito Forest Bunker and the Polito Bay Clubhouse, which can be located on the top left of the map. The reason why I recommend these is because they are both close to each other, as well as getting the Route 68 Bunker and the Great Chaparral Clubhouse. This bunker and the clubhouse are the closest you can get to each other, and this is the one I'll be using for the dupe glitch. So when you buy the clubhouse, make sure you buy the custom bike shop. You'll need that for the dupe glitch as well. You're also going to need an MOC and if you do have an MOC but you have Bay 2 at Vehicle and Workshop, you're going to want to change that to Empty and change Bay 3 to Personal Vehicle Storage. This is the car you're going to want to max out and to fully upgrade it, you're going to need around 4.3 mil. Now you might be thinking to yourself, 4.3 mil is outrageous, but I'll have you know, every time you sell this duped EC that's fully maxed out, you'll be getting around 1.8 million. So around three sales will give you your money back and you can keep duping it for as long as you want. Now for the people who have their clubhouse and their bunker far away from each other, what you're going to want to get is a Kosaka or a CEO business. So with those two, you can call in a sparrow or a buzzer to get to your clubhouse or your bunker if they're really far away, as you're not allowed to call in personal vehicles. Yeah, you can't call in personal vehicles when you're doing this glitch, and if you do, it'll mess it up. So that's why I'm suggesting this, if your bunker is far away, of course. But if that's not the case, and you're like me, and you have your bunker and clubhouse right next to each other, you can just call in the BJXL from your CEO, and that'll work perfectly fine, as you can just drive back and forth from your bunker to your clubhouse. Now the last thing I'm going to mention is the most important part, you're going to need custom plates. If you don't have custom plates, you're going to be selling dirty dupes, you'll most likely get sell limit, dupe detected, and even worse, banned. So if you want to know how to get custom plates, look in the video description and you can find the video I made titled how to get custom plates in GTA 5, but yeah. So for this duplication glitch, you're going to fill up your clubhouse garage until it's full. I use bikes and death bikes if you want to know how to do death bikes. Also look in the description. Then what you're going to want to do is take a bike that you don't mind losing and putting it inside your MOC. So I'm going to enter my bunker first. Now I'm going to drive my bike to the MOC. Now make sure your clubhouse garage is still full. You're not taking a bike out of the clubhouse garage. You're just taking a bike from a different garage or just buying a bike and bringing it inside your MOC. Now what you're going to want to do is hop off the bike that you don't mind losing and exiting the MLC. Once you exit the MLC, you're going to want to exit the bunker. Once you're outside the bunker, go ahead and call up your mechanic. I am in the BJXL right now. This is just to help you transport, like I said earlier in the video. But basically what you're going to do is call the car that you're going to want to dupe. In my case, I'm going to be duping the AC Future Shock. I'm just going to call it in right here, as you can see. So I'm just going to enter in the vehicle and drive it into my bunker. Once you're inside the bunker with your car, you're just going to drive over to where I'm driving to. So you see the MLC on your left, you're just going to take a right, right next to this pipe, line it up. And you should see on the top left, press right on the D-pad to start this vehicle. If you do see that, then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and press right on the D-pad. Now, if you get this pop-up notification, that means you're in the right spot. So what you want to press is cancel. And once you press cancel, hop out the vehicle and exit your bunker. Now make your way over to your clubhouse. So now that I'm inside my clubhouse, what you're gonna wanna do is hop on a Fagio. So I'm just gonna hop on this one right here. Now we're gonna press right on our D-pad to modify the vehicle. While this loads, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go to plates and this is important. Make sure to change the plate to your custom plate. Do not use a regular plate cause that will just get dupe detected and it would be a dirty dupe. But if you want it to be a clean dupe, go ahead and change it to a custom plate. And if you decide to skip this step, then you're going to get a daily sell limit. So that's all I'm trying to say. Make sure you have a custom plate. Again, if you want to know how to get custom plates, go ahead and look at my video that I made. It's in the description. Also, be sure to follow my TikTok. I post on there as well, GTA 5. All right, I'm done self-promoting. What you're going to want to do is hop off the bike and exit your clubhouse. 
Now you're gonna want to drive back to your bunker. Go ahead and enter your bunker. Once you're in your bunker, walk back over to the car that you aligned. Now you're gonna to wanna to enter the car you're duping and overwrite the car. So you're gonna to wanna to press right on the D-pad and this should pop up and you're gonna wanna press accept this time. Now what you wanna do is drive the car that you're duping outside the bunker. Before I continue this, I wanna clarify that this car that I'm in right now, that you can see right now, is the duped car. You're going to wanna sell this one. This is not the original, even though it might look like the original, it's not the original. The original is back at your garage which is the one you called in earlier in the glitch. That right there, what you just saw, or what you're seeing right now, is the duped version. So the one that I'm driving right now and exiting the bunker is the one that's the duped version. So with this one, you're gonna wanna sell it or you're gonna wanna store it, whichever one works. So now I'm just gonna call the mechanic to show proof that it did dupe before I sell this issue. So I'm just gonna call the mechanic and the same garage that i called the car from as you can see it's still there and it's back to where it was and i'm driving the duped version right now so it does work as you can see right there now we're just going to go ahead and sell it in los Santos customs there you go boys i'm selling the duped version for 1.7 million dollars as you can see and once this animation is done you'll see that i got 1.7 mil 1.74 it's around 1.8 also to let you guys know if you're selling the original it'll sell for around 1.9 uh but do not sell the original Just keep the original in the garage and keep calling it in and it'll keep returning to that one garage you've called it in from and you can just keep it as a cycle that's it for today's dupe video i hope you guys enjoyed and if i find any other duplication glitches i'll let you guys know and i'll put you guys on also make sure to subscribe and like and follow my TikTok, please. I'm trying to grow as a content creator, and it will help me out if you guys subscribe and like. I'll put you guys on with more methods soon. Let me know. Catch you guys later.